Um, I actually want to talk about something that I, is uh, a personal thing for me because I freaking love fruit. Mm. I love, eat the shit out of fruit, like bananas, mangoes, grapes, okay. dry, yum. Now, if I'm obviously not a large person and I eat a ton of fruit, so would you think it's a fair statement to say that fruit makes you fat? No. Okay. And do you think it's dependent on the individual? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as it always is as it always is <laughs> no but what is this where has this come from this fruit makes you fat thing and why are people so okay. why do we demonize things like so this so this we were dealing with this again again just like we've we've spoken before about about ketogenic dieting coming around everything keeps coming yeah. around now it's like fashion it's fruit it's, would be it's, yeah. Fru it's <laughs> fructose fructose is evil fructose yeah. fructose is not evil okay yeah it, it, is it's, fructose in high amounts evil Fructose in really high amounts yeah. is evil, and the the data shows anywhere from thirty five to eighty eight to ninety grams or so, depending. And that's okay. that's in a, a that's in a really small period of time. And it, it again, just like most nutritional studies, they're not they're not looking at people who actually train and okay. who are active. They're looking yeah. at people. Catch potatoes. Uh, yeah, well, they're you know they're usually looking at guys at 18, 19 year olds and they're they're undergraduates in college and all they're doing is drinking beer and eating pizza yeah. staying up playing uh, video games all yeah. night so if they were to do that and add some fruit to the diet it would probably do them well well yeah 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 <laughs> well pineapple's a fruit and you i like pineapple yeah. pizza oh, you know that something's wrong with you but look okay so let's look at let's look at the, the there are issues with yep. with fructose a when glucose enters the cell mm -hmm. there's three fates yep. pentose phosphate pathway glycolysis or glycogen. Yep. The problem with fructose is it doesn't have that same, it skips that step. Yep. So it ramps up energy production really fast. Yep. So. Which would lead to like an influx of. An influx of energy, really yep. fast energy. Yep. So. What and you, responses as well. So you'd have like a spike in insulin. No, because fructose more. doesn't need insulin. Oh, it's needing in the cell. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, so makes sense. Yeah, fructose yeah. doesn't need insulin. Yeah. So the, the problem is if you are already overeating. Yep. Or if you overconsume fruit, uh -huh. like a large dose of it, like you'd like be have to eat, if you eat, <laughs> if you eat, like if the 30 bananas a day girl eats all 30 bananas for breakfast, yeah. that's probably not a good idea. Which is funny though, it's a good point because a lot of people um, will make their breakfast smoothies, right? Yeah. And they would put in way more fruit than they would typically eat if they were to eat it whole. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's really not that yeah. big of a deal because yeah. you would, you can make some fat out of, out of fruit that's mm -hmm. true but you can also make pyruvate out of fruit okay. right so if you're in a caloric deficit and you're overeating fruit yeah you're gonna make a lot of energy out of that yeah okay but what happens is it skips that step and it makes pyruvate really quickly mm -hmm. and it spins a crep cycle really quickly if it's if you're making too much atp too quickly then it's yeah. gonna everything's gonna go in reverse and you're gonna start laying down fat okay but that doesn't happen because i don't know when's the last time you ate six bananas in one sitting no. So the the the. I one did hear I did hear a story about if you eat about I think it's twenty or twenty five bananas really quickly and take a nap you get really livid dreams. <laughs> so the people who have tried that probably eat a lot of bananas in a spot. Google that. I'll just do acid or. <laughs> so, but look. No. Yeah, you're right. No so one sits down. You know I have ADD. A huge amount of fruit. I have ADD yeah. and you're throwing me off now. <laughs> so when you look at a banana. Yeah. medium-sized banana 26 grams of sugar yes it's not 26 grams of fructose yes. it's like four to six grams of fructose so to hit that threshold that you, you need six before, of them six or more yeah or oh, you need more than that nobody what you, does you that say the threshold was about 70 to 80 no i said the, the research varies from 35 to ah, 90 okay. so we don't know yeah and if you're at if you're active and you're under eating your calories or your energy needs yeah. you can have more uh -huh. all right so the thing is what, what people are, are missing when they don't eat that they're missing a lot of phytonutrients that they're not going to get from you can't get from yeah. veggies you can't get from meat you can't yeah. get from anywhere else there's a ton of potassium as well there's a ton of anti-inflammatory properties that come along with having fruit yeah. now you need some you do need some guidelines though right so around your training more tropical mm -hmm. fruits and more sugary fruits like if it's not around the training, then probably want to stick to things like berries and yep. cherries and, you know, things that are going to be a little bit lower glycemic load and, uh, you know, but you look at a lot of antioxidants, there's a lot of stuff that you get in fruit, plus it's fucking delicious. Yeah. 
You know, people that want to, I don't know why people want to avoid fruit, yeah. especially like fucking mango. I couldn't avoid mango. Yeah. So I'm right in saying there's pros and cons to absolutely everything we do, right? There's, yeah. there's a good thing and there's, there's bad things. Sometimes people will take one of the bad components and it automatically eradicates or and yeah. no, what, this is what, which is not this what is you what want happens. to do. Like you want to look at everything and work it out for yourself. This is what happens. happens. You have research, it comes out. Yeah. People that don't know how to read research just read the abstract. Uh -huh. And so bro scientist one goes to bro scientist two and says, I read that high fructose syrup, corn syrup makes you fat. And bro scientist two goes, you know where there's a lot of fructose in fruit. Yeah. And so he goes, bro scientist number one goes, we must not ever eat fruit again because we'll get fat. Yeah. And it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Yeah. If you were drinking a six pack of, of soda a day, okay, yeah. that's probably not a good idea every day. And do you find more fructose in those sodas? In yeah, so day? in high fructose yeah. corn syrup, it's around roughly 55% fructose. So it's 46 grams of total sugar, 55% of that's going to be. Yeah. So it only takes two or three of those to hit your threshold yeah. of possibly laying down yeah. fat. If yeah. you're in a mainly a hypercalorie diet, yeah, right, uh, which the people we deal with aren't, they're typically yeah. dieting. Yeah, well, they're supposed to be, or okay, under, under eating. Yeah, depending on the goal. Yeah. yeah. Mm.